Hello. Hello and welcome to the third day of a week on Gusto. Yeah, it's going quickly, isn't it? It is already, yeah. I mean, day one, really good yeah, start. Yeah, that one. Day two, nah, not quickly keen. jumped off a cliff yeah. a little bit. But I'm hoping day three is going to improve. It's going to put us back on, on the right footing. What is it? It's this. It is, what's it called? Bacon and mushroom Alfredo. So it's... Just like a tagliatelle type thing. Surely there's not really much that can go wrong with creamy, cheesy pasta. You bacon. say that, mm, but it is us, so we may screw things up. Well, speak for yourself. That's true. So, have had a nice bit of breakfast, nice bit of lunch, but we're going to ignore all that in this week on. It's, it's not about that, it's about gusto. It's about gusto. So let's uh, crack on, because I'm quite hungry. Starving. Bacon and mushroom Alfredo, uh, 555 calories in this one. Looks very nice, so hopefully we can make it looking at least remotely like that by the end of it. Not tons of ingredients, at least not when compared to the one we had yesterday, which actually turned out to be not all that great. So here we go, all of the ingredients here. Chinese rice wine, hard grated cheese, garlic paste. It's strange how they would give us garlic paste when yesterday's... Yeah, I wish they'd just cool. use garlic paste for everything. Yeah. That's just easier. Feels like that's pointless when they're, they're actually sending out garlic as well. Cream cheese, mushrooms, bacon lardons. What's this? Parsley. Parsley, I knew that. And quick cook spaghetti. Don't know what the difference is between that and any other. Quick cooks quickly. It says it on it, the packet. It's in the name, isn't it? I feel foolish. Right, so... I guess we're going to crack on. What's the first step? Before you begin, get all the... Ing oh, whoa, whoa, we've done that. We're ahead of the uh, instructions. Skim through these steps. Now this, there's so few steps on this bloody thing. It's telling us to wash our hands. Okay. Have you washed your hands? No. Ah. I know. Oh, boil the kettle. Cracking content. <laughs> First job done. Now what? Uh, we. I am finding out from the official instructions. I'm the official instructions. I oh, know. I mean, you are correct, but. Get him. There we go. There's one giant stick of lard on. God. Cook for three to four minutes until golden. That smells incredible. Look at it. That, ooh, I could just eat that like, on its own and I think I would be very happy. Yeah. And it would be ten times nicer than yesterday as yeah. well. Uh, so what happens next is... And boiling. So in goes our quick cooked spaghetti. Oh my god. Oh, I've ruined it. Oh, yeah, get it all in there. Oh, oh it's cooking already. I know. Apparently. This only takes uh, two to three minutes, and usually it would take like eight, nine, or ten minutes. So, yeah, cooking quick. Once the lardons are golden, crumble the chestnut mushrooms into. Do you reckon they're ready? Yeah. Okay, go, go and crumble the mushrooms with your hands. I, I didn't realise mushrooms could be crumbled. Although, you, do, you don't seem to be doing a bad job of crumbling those mushrooms. Basically just crushing them in your <laughs> strong hands. Well, that's quite too soon. Okay, that's uh, suitably crumbled, I would say. Yeah, not bad. What's next? Um, oh, got roasted garlic. What am I doing the honours? That's going to stink. Okay, the pasta's done, so we have to... To save a cup of pasta water, and then we need to drain that. Oh, One's fragrant, which I, I think is fair enough. It's very fragrant. Yeah. Um, in goes the Chinese rice wine and the soft cheese. So there is that. In it goes. Oh. And then ugh. cream cheese, which these cream cheeses have a, a layer of water, which. I don't know what that means. Does that mean it's good? Bad cream cheese? Don't know. I don't know. It's anything to do with the curds and the wine. We. I don't know. Um, and then give it, a, give it a mix for a couple of minutes. 
Hmm, looking at it a little bit dry, and I'm guessing that's what the pasta water's for, yeah. So if you want to thin it down a little bit. Probably a bit too much, yeah. yeah. It'll thicken, I <laughs> It will. Next up, we add the drained spaghetti to the pan. Are you ready for this? Because it's gone hard. Yeah. <laughs> God. Nice. It's one big piece of spaghetti. One giant spaghetti clump. I'll let you work the magic on that. Look at that. That smells really nice. It does smell good, doesn't it? Think we're about there? I reckon we're probably not far off, yeah. Let's get it served. I'm starving now. Ho, 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 ho. That looks good. Yum. Smells amazing. Is it? I don't know why you're doing two. This is all for me. Sure. I mean, I could. No, you couldn't. Not all yes, of I could. No way. I definitely could. I mean, you, you've you been married to me for long enough, right? Not all this pasta you couldn't. I could. It sounds like a challenge and one I'm willing to take on. Mm-hmm. So we have skipped a step because we're lazy about finally chopping the parsley beforehand, but why, why do that? Why not just, why not cheat? This just makes sense. And then finally we add the strong and tangy grated Italian hard cheese. Parmesan. Pa pa Parmesan, yeah. Face it. Say when. Mm, just the rest of it. Just the rest of it? Oh, no, no, that'll do. So. I mean, there is some, there's loads left. No, I don't want any more. Oh Thanks. God. All right. Just put it all over. That did, I'm sorry. Shall we try it? Yes. Because that looks, actually. I'm not too decent. I mean, we've used more cheese. <laughs> that's for sure. It's okay. It's what we lacked in cheese good. yesterday, we're making up for today. Oh, that's a good point. Get it in there. Mm. Is that good? Mm -hmm. You were really disappointed that's about nice. The tacos yesterday so how does this one hold up compared that to that incredible not very saucy but that's fine it's really bacony <laughs> um which sounds funny but it's so good and it's just a big bowl of comfort i'm excited you've built this up it's so really good you're not going to be disappointed to get some bacon in there oh no it's not there at all oh that's cheesy the pasta's really skinny, isn't it? I suppose that's why it's quick cook. That's true. It's incredibly thin. I hadn't realised, yeah. Mmm, mmm. I see what you mean. Not saucy, but the flavour's there. Mmm, that's lovely. Cheesy, really salty. Nice, rich flavour. Super quick, super easy. This is the nicest dish so far. Yeah, I agree. Easily as well. Yeah. I mean, it's nothing really you couldn't make yourself at home. There's no crazy special ingredients in there, apart from maybe there was it red wine, Chinese red oh, wine. Oh, yeah. Maybe, which I can't taste at all. No, thankfully, because it smelled like sherry and it I wasn't. It smelled keen. really boozy, didn't it? But this is delightful. How's about that then? I think that's pretty obvious how we felt about that meal. It was delicious. It easily the yeah. best one we've had. I mean, we've only had three so far, but so good. It was really simple as well. Like like you said, like it's not really something that you, you know, can't not do on gusto. But it's just, it was incredible. Yeah, it's like lots of bitty little things that I don't know. Would you always have those in? Not so sure. Yeah. But especially not that red wine Chinese no. vinegar. I can't remember. What that's do you called. think that was a necessary ingredient? I don't know. It'd be interesting to try it side by side. If if you didn't have it, would it affect the flavour? Mm. Yeah. The only thing I would say about that is it could have done with being saucier. Yeah. Because, it. I mean, the flavour was there. It was just not as saucy as we might have a pasta. Mm. It was basically just carbonara though, wasn't it? It was definitely just a carbonara. <laughs> yeah. Just minus the eggs. Yeah. Just cream cheese instead. And cream cheese is always a winner. Cream cheese. Do you think we could have put more of the pasta water in to make it saucier? Do you think that Potentially, would have... but it might have wishy washed out the cheese. Yeah. Like we did add even more that we didn't put on camera because it got really, really thick and yeah. stodgy. So mm. maybe we could have added more. Maybe that's our own downfall. We've made our bed and now we've laid in it and eaten it. But it didn't take anything away from the fact that it 
know, it was delicious. delicious. Yeah. yeah. So if they're as good as that for the rest of the week, we'll be very, very happy. Yes, please. I'd have thought. So, so far, we do have more wins than losses. Yeah. But yesterday's loss was a hefty one. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't would even say. finish it. So, no, yeah. I did. And I was very tempted to have yours, but that's purely because I was hungry. And it wasn't that big of a portion. This portion tonight was pretty yeah. massive. So because it was pasta, it just feels really... Yeah. yeah nice, stodgy, filling, comfort mm. food. So can't complain about, uh, about tonight's. Very happy with it. If you want to try it out yourself, discount code here, affiliate marketing. You can link below all that jazz and you'll get 65% off and we'll get some kickback. Mm. Um, so far, I would be more than happy with that because that was good. was really good. Just don't have my tacos. But if you want to see how we get on with day four, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, Patreons all, you can watch it now, and etc, etc, etc. Sorry, I was just thinking about that pasta again. <laughs>